Oh my goodness, the anticipation is at its zenith as we inch closer to Tesla's highly anticipated October 10th event at the WB Studio in Los Angeles. Rumors and speculation are swirling, leaving us all guessing. Is it a yellow turd, a taxi cab, the cyber cab, or perhaps something entirely unexpected like a Bilbo cabin or a taxi praxis? Recent leaks have only added to the excitement, with photos of a strange yellow vehicle being tested at the Warner Brothers parking lot, sparking debates. Is this the long rumor $25,000 electric car, or maybe just another teaser for Tesla's mysterious robo-taxi? The questions are endless, and the suspense is tangible. So, how will Elon's unveiling redefine our expectations of what an autonomous future could look like? How does Tesla Bot relate to the launch of RoboTaxi? With just a few weeks set to go until Tesla's RoboTaxi launch in LA, people are very hopeful. The event's going to feature the RoboTaxi, the vehicle with full self-driving and AI capabilities. The nucleus is going to be the RoboTaxi, the central essence of Tesla's expertise in self-driving EVs. Further, it could provide a tease of the Optimus humanoid robot as well, revealing wider applications of Tesla's FSD and AI advances beyond just cars. Tesla's got an all-encompassing presentation plan, the source said, that's designed to show its serious about AI and autonomy and has made advances in both of these areas. When he goes public with a robo-taxi, Elon also shared that it'll eventually be supported by Tesla Bot. The Tesla Bot's got sophisticated AI and machine learning capabilities that'll enable it to act wisely while making critical decisions so as to operate the robo-taxi safely and effectively in urban areas. Elon also showcased tasks such as a tire change and diagnostic capability via Tesla Bot with respect to robo-taxi integration. The partnership is not limited to maintenance. Tesla Bot could also help passengers with their luggage and provide a type of service that differentiates the company's RoboTaxi from the competition. And looking ahead, integration of Tesla Bot and RoboTaxi is poised for growth. Elon recently revealed plans for a fleet of RoboTaxi, each paired with a Tesla Bot, to operate in cities across the globe. Imagine a fully autonomous RoboTaxi fleet that can do many tasks through automated software, but who's going to handle recharging after extended use? This becomes more tangible with Optimus potential handling the task of plugging in the Tesla vehicles, which showcases the seamless integration between Tesla's robots and their cars. The ability of cybercabs to employ Tesla Bot in various roles highlights the expanding scope of Tesla Bot in the realm of autonomous transportation. But the question remains whether Tesla Bot will ever be able to drive a car autonomously, and if so, when might Elon allow a Tesla Bot to independently navigate real-world traffic? This question sparks a broader discussion about the potential for FSD technology to be applied beyond EVs in Tesla's own fleet. If Elon can package this tech worldwide for widespread development, even older vehicles like those with internal combustion engines, they could greatly benefit from these advancements. While we wait for this next technological breakthrough, the integration of cutting-edge AI such advancements in various types of vehicles could strengthen this foundation. Based on Tesla's technological development and capabilities, it's expected that in no more than three years, we're going to have real Optimus drivers. Another intriguing aspect gaining equal attention to the RoboTaxi is the anticipation surrounding additional announcements for this event. Morgan Stanley remarked, as we approach Tesla's October 10th RoboTaxi event, we're struggling to see how it'll meet high expectations of investors. Beyond showcasing FSD version 12.5 and offering rides in a Generation 1 cybercab, what else might be revealed? This excitement's been heightened by Elon's hint that the event will not only unveil the new RoboTaxi, but also feature a couple other things. So, what might these additional surprises entail? Given these developments, there's growing speculation that Elon might be alluding to Tesla's wireless charging technology. While the concept of wireless charging isn't new, the practical application remains rare among EV manufacturers. BMW, for instance, has experimented with this technology in Germany and the US. Volvo started trials in Germany, and Toyota is investing in Ytricity to advance wireless charging. However, these are still largely experimental efforts. In contrast, there are clear indications that Tesla's upcoming event is set to unveil its own wireless charging technology. This development could impact the industry showcasing Tesla's commitment to integrating cutting-edge solutions into their vehicles. The evidence that Tesla's on the verge of unveiling its wireless charging technology in the event. On September 6th, the World Intellectual Property Organization, WIPO, published a patent application for a wireless charging pad filed by Tesla. 
This timing, just ahead of the October 10th RoboTaxi event, aligns with the growing speculation that wireless charging could play a big role in Tesla's new RoboTaxi. It sounds like Tesla plans to use a wireless charging pad for the RoboTaxi, which makes sense. If RoboTaxi is fully autonomous and requires no human intervention for driving, it's also going to need a method to self-charge. By employing a wireless charging pad installed in parking areas, the vehicle can charge itself without the need for human interaction. While Tesla has long considered the idea of a robotic solid-state charger to plug into its vehicles, the company's 2023 Investor Day introduced a wireless charging pad, reducing the need for such a solid-state solution and fueling widespread speculation about its potential to further set it apart from the competition. In another aspect, in 2023, Tesla completed the acquisition of Wyferion. The company later sold the company, but kept many of the engineers. This was used as a stepping stone when entering a new joint venture to streamline its product line. The implications of this patent suggest that Tesla is gearing up to fully automate the operation of RoboTaxi. While Tesla may eventually deploy this technology across other vehicle models, specific details about such applications remain unclear. To develop a widespread network akin to its supercharger network, Tesla faces challenges. An automatic charging station costs approximately $700,000. That's seven times the cost of a Tesla supercharger at hundred grand. So a pragmatic solution may be leveraging Tesla bot to manage the maintenance and charging of robo-taxis. This approach could offer a more cost-effective and scalable method for for ensuring the operation of their autonomous fleet. Analysts and investors are keenly watching this event, viewing it as a potential game changer. Reports indicate Tesla's poised to elevate its FSD capabilities and autonomous services with the introduction of new technologies, including wireless charging. Although detailed data on the testing phases is limited, Tesla's previously showcased its rapid charging technology, capable of delivering 45 kilowatts in just a half hour. This demonstrates their expertise in both fast and wireless charging systems. By perfecting rapid charging, Charging technology, Tesla's likely laid the groundwork for a transition to wireless systems. The RoboTaxi, set to be the first vehicle to use this technology, signals Tesla's readiness to commercialize this innovation and minimize downtime. How special is the design and features of the RoboTaxi? RoboTaxi's got a modern and efficient design that takes its cues from the Roadster or a smaller version of Cybertruck with larger rear wheels. Such design not only elevates the present strong looks of the car, but at the same time enhances performance to make it less power consuming and allows for more distance coverage. The endless shapes and forms remind us of a 2001 Honda Insight, with one of the most aerodynamic cars ever being built and even the humblest car for searing through crowded urban areas. The most notable feature is the elimination of the traditional side mirrors. Rather than a literal screen, Tesla could potentially add high-definition cameras to offer a 360-degree view of the vehicle for self-driving. And this method has flown in Cybertruck. The placement of these cameras will also be important. If they're used on the robo-taxi to aid in its autonomous driving, that way it can ensure a more reliable and accurate drive. These sensors and cams will be interfaced with AI and autopilot software to run the EVs automatically in all traffic situations. And just like Cybertruck, RoboTaxi's got a light bar across the back. While this might be just part of the cladding, it does help further differentiate Tesla's electric cars from everything else on the road. Perhaps, as we saw with the China Spec E6 built by LTI in Coventry, England, it's just that the vehicle uses a larger battery pack and has more bulk in the rear. By implementing this design, the range is increased, therefore making it necessary to have to charge less frequently. Besides, while Uber's got standardized Google Maps for its services, Tesla employs its own in-house developed cloud suite and mapping system. This also improves user experience by allowing a driver to save profiles, setting and navigation preferences. Mobile app integration helps Tesla in developing solutions not limited to just transportation, but an entire ecosystem, aiding even navigation and assuming a scale of safety that's unheard of. Tesla's all-in-one mapping system and its high-detailed sensors, combined with state-of-the-art AI, allows the operation of the robo-taxi in dense urban environments. And this can allow the vehicle to alter its route based on real-time updates from their cloud-based map, which should give it an edge over the competition. The Tesla RoboTaxi stands out due to its good performance and recharge cycles. Its 52 kilowatt hour battery will be slotted between the axles, with a larger rear than front wheel size and back, and should give up to 300 miles of range, good for some quick mat that puts it right alongside Model 3 in terms of road trips between charges. This allows for a long journey without having to worry about recharging.
The rear design is quite weird and excessive to make enough for its trunk space, which does remind slightly of the Cybertruck style. This move not only adds range, but frees up more interior space, which can be used to accommodate luggage, and that's a leap beyond current EVs. Of course, RoboTaxi offers an intelligent transportation system and many market opportunities. This will be especially helpful to seniors and even people who can't drive with autonomous driving and that smart connectivity. By simply hailing a ride over an app, entering their destination, and letting the vehicle's autonomous system take it from there. Two versions of RoboTaxi will reportedly be available, one with full self-driving system, and this is the primary version that'll be for the use of individual users for non-commercial purposes. It'll likely be highly suitable and cheap for daily transportation that makes it safe as well. The other version here will be offered for commercial use, where an individual can basically employ it as a public transportation system and make money off it. This allows to build a business model like Uber and Lyft in ride hailing, but with the major distinction of full automation. The RoboTaxi is being built on Tesla's next generation platform, which is designed to be both affordable and efficient. To keep costs down, Tesla is adopting a simple and minimalist design. This approach not only helps in reducing expenses, but also facilitates higher production volumes. Tesla CEO Elon Musk believes the next generation of Tesla vehicles, including RoboTaxi, will be priced under $25,000 and could become some of the best-selling vehicles in the future. In comparison, GM's Cruise has a custom vehicle named Origin, but it's recently been put on hold, at least for now. Waymo developed several basic custom vehicles that are still in testing phases, with current models priced at $75,000, three times the price Elon set for RoboTaxi. Amazon Zoos has been discussing custom vehicles since its inception, which is central to its mission. Meanwhile, most Chinese competitors have only modestly modified standard vehicles. Baidu Apollo announced a custom vehicle priced at $28,000, still more expensive than Tesla's projected RoboTaxi. Additionally, EVs can have a very long lifespan, approximately 8 to 10 years, especially if the batteries are swappable, which can double the average lifespan. The interior may wear out after hundreds of thousands of miles, so Tesla's designed its robotaxis to be modular, making them easy to replace and upgrade. Similarly, hardware such as computers and sensors can be upgraded in the field due to the rapid pace of innovation in this area. The RoboTaxi's design prioritizes self-cleaning capabilities and automatic charging, which are also crucial. Charging stations are designed to require minimal intervention using standard plugs. More advanced concepts could include battery swapping for quick turnaround during the day and a smaller package with a cooling compartment to store energy more cheaply than lithium batteries. How is the newly discovered Model Y detected updated? One of the most notable changes in Model Y Juniper will be its updated outside design. The front of the vehicle is set to receive a significant redesign, featuring sleeker, more modern headlights similar to those found in Model 3. This change is expected to modernize the look of Model Y, which has been using a dated design since its initial launch in 2019. The new headlights will not only improve the vehicle's aesthetic appeal, but also enhance visibility and safety. In addition to the headlight, the front bumper may incorporate a camera, a feature reminiscent of Cybertruck. This camera could prove valuable for off-road enthusiasts and for those seeking additional parking safety. The rear of the Model Y Juniper will also undergo a notable transformation. An extended light bar inspired by Cybertruck will give the Model Y a sportier and more luxurious appearance. The Tesla T logo will now be replaced with the full Tesla lettering, which will enhance brand visibility even in low lighting conditions. New wheel designs are also expected, although the size will remain the same. These updates are aimed at improving the car's aerodynamics, which should contribute to an increased driving range. An update for Model Y Juniper will be its new battery technology. The refreshed model is rumored to feature Tesla's cutting-edge 4680 battery architecture. This new battery type boasts an energy density of around 296 watt-hours a kilo, making it the most efficient battery Tesla's developed to date. With this new technology, Model Y Juniper is expected to achieve a 15% increase in driving range, reaching up to 380 miles on a single charge. This enhancement in range will be an improvement for drivers, allowing for longer trips between charges. Inside Model Y Juniper will offer several enhancements aimed at improving comfort and luxury. The vehicle will feature ventilated seats and sportier seat options, providing a more comfortable experience. An 8-inch rear passenger display will also be introduced, enhancing the entertainment for passengers and making long journeys enjoyable. The updated Model Y benefits from a revised suspension system designed to improve ride quality by reducing noise and wind. This improvement has been observed in recent updates to Model 3, suggesting that Juniper will follow suit with a quieter cabin and smoother ride.
Model Y Juniper will come equipped with double glazed windows for all windows, providing superior sound insulation. This feature will reduce external noise, creating a quieter and more peaceful driving experience. Previous Model Y builds have shown improvements in build quality over time, with newer models experiencing fewer rattles and less noise. It's anticipated that the Juniper update will continue this trend, further enhancing the vehicle's quality. Foam-filled tires, which had previously helped reduce road noise, are expected to continue or be further optimized in Juniper. These tires play a crucial role in minimizing road noise, contributing to a quieter cabin. Model Y Juniper is likely to launch with Hardware 4, which will include enhanced full self-driving capabilities. Tesla's been making strides in autonomous driving, and the Juniper will likely reflect this. Although the initial release may not include the latest AI5 hardware, Future updates could bring even more features. There's also speculation about a potential shift to 48 voltage architecture for the Model Y Juniper. This change could enable fast charging speeds, reducing the vehicle's weight by eliminating some wiring and offering cost advantages. The new architecture might also support steer-by-wire technology, which would provide adjustable steering ratios and a safer driving experience by taking away the mechanical connection to the front axle. Upgrades to the audio system are also expected for Model Y Juniper. The current 14-speaker system may go up to 17, improving sound quality and giving a more immersive listening experience. While some features may be less likely, there are a few additional updates that could make their way into Model Y Juniper. Automatic doors or handles, adding convenience and a touch of luxury. Additionally, faster charging speeds and wireless charging capabilities are also possible. The company has recently acquired Wiferian and is developing its own wireless charging solution, which could be incorporated into Juniper. And lastly, while it's kind of a long shot, there have been discussions about smart photovoltaic glass for the Model Y. This feature could offer adjustable tinting and enhanced lighting options, adding to the vehicle's innovative edge. Did you get your ticket to Tesla's RoboTaxi launch event? What updates would you like to see on your favorite EV? We'd be happy if you let us know your comments about this, and we hope you experience the utmost relaxation after watching this episode. If you did, hit that like button and join the Tesla Car World community. Hit the notification bell and stay tuned for any fantastic videos coming your way. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you back here soon. Until then, take care and God bless. Bye.